like. I kind of found that I like to enjoy things progressively as I felt more comfortable. Um, uh, and also some things I was quite interested and intrigued by. It's literally as the day went on. Um, I enjoyed working with the group. I thought it was great. For me, a great opportunity to work with people who are doing their thing, even if I have absolutely no idea what thing they are doing. I don't, and I don't need to know what they're doing, so that's great to have quite a few and the response. You asked about what was useful. And, um, I really like that time is used well. So there's, there's a real strictness with time. And as a trainer and coach, especially as a coach, time is something that um, we're extremely Strict is not quite the right word. We're very clear about it because it creates boundaries. And one of the things about the boundaries is that people feel safe, and the other thing is that people will absolutely work to time. So the more time you give them, the more time you take. So I really like the way the time's been used throughout the day. That's probably to explain in terms of what it did for them. My aim was to provide them with a process which would. Um, bring out or elicit uh, or drag out if need be more stuff that's in there and that might be sitting kind of beyond certain habits maybe of limitations in thinking whether that's beliefs or just conscious habits or something it's just to get a little bit further into either more information or more detail around existing information and maybe some surprise things which actually the artist really wants to do but didn't really know you know so maybe a refinement or, or just really purely quite different new information. Again, already when we travel to the place where something is happening and we trust it and we experience, even with the little that we go with, and sometimes it might be nothing or it might be a lot, by actually being in the moment, imaginary, people will recount back to themselves what they're actually experiencing with, again, less limitation. When we tend to look forward to what we think, what we might want, it is so far away and it tends to be, there's not really a direct relationship with it. So, on one hand, there's too much possibility and on another hand, there's maybe too little because lots of, oh, I can't do that or I could do that, I don't have enough time, get in the way. If we actually jump over all those hurdles and go directly to it, it's, I think there's just a lot more freedom to notice what is important and that tends to be based on well, I'm repeating myself, what is important to the person maybe at the moment, whether that's their desires or values or things that interest them. So we kind of get to the real thing rather than some crystal ball something. Because I've only seen one day and I didn't, I haven't seen how one person's discipline is forming another person's discipline. I, I don't know, I can't answer that. The fact that there's a lot of stuff around is great because it's like a playground. Um, the fact that I was asked to do something using my phone um, was unusual because that's never happened before, but then I haven't been creating any work for at least 20 years. So um, I don't know because there is no interaction between the different disciplines other than what there is, I guess. Um, but I certainly haven't seen anybody dance or particularly act, perform, yes. So I can't answer that question.